Hi there! Today I will show you how to add a glow effect to any view and at the end we'll also add some animation to make it look like it's pulsating. I'm going to create a view modifier for this so that it can be reused for any sort of view. So first of all let's create a view with a circle inside it so that we can test the glow as we're building the modifier. It doesn't matter what we add here, we can add any view such as a button, rectangle or an image. I'm just going to add a circle here. I want to make the background black here so that we can see the glow clearly, so let's add the black color in a Z stack. Now for the main part, I will create a glow view modifier. The body needs to show the content and in order to add a glow, we'll apply the blur modifier to the contents of the view. To make this modifier easily accessible, we can add a view extension with a function that can be called to apply this glow effect to any view. Now let's add this modifier to the yellow circle that we created. I forgot to return the view in this function, let's do that. As you can see, the blur effect has made the whole view look blurred. But this isn't really what we want, is it? We want our original view to look sharp, but have a blur around it. And that's why I created this Z stack over here. I think the easiest way to do this is to have the contents at the top and then have a blurred version of the content behind it. There we go, we have a view modifier here that we can use on any sort of view to give it a nice glow. I'll add a rectangle here to demonstrate and let's also add a heart image. If you just want a static glow, you can stop here but I'm going to go one step further and make this glow animated so that it looks like it's pulsating a little bit. Let's add the animation to the blurred view. I'll just use ease out animation, but you can use any other like linear or ease in, ease out. Let's add a variable that will trigger this animation. I will change the blur radius so that it's smaller when it's false and bigger when it's true. And we will trigger this animation by toggling this boolean value when the content appears. Also, we need to repeat this animation forever to get the pulsating effect. You can always make the glow larger or smaller by changing the blur radius. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found this useful. If you would like to see more of these tutorials, subscribe to my channel please. I will be making a lot of animation tutorials in the coming weeks. If there's any animation that you would like me to try, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!